In this video, we play the tank that you've all been grinding for. And it's absolutely crap. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We are joined here today with another absolutely diabolically bad Italian premium vehicle. Uh, this is the Hungarian Zirinyi. Now before I cover why this thing is absolutely awful, I have 4.0 and it really is to be honest with you. Uh, it has six Nibbleware for heat warhead rockets strapped to the back, which have a maximum gun depression of not enough. <laughs> Basically this thing will move up and down with your barrel. Uh, but it will only go, I don't know, maybe 6 degrees more elevation than it is here. But it entirely depends on where your tank is facing, not where your barrel is pointed. So they're incredibly difficult to aim. You can slam fire them into vehicles that you're ramming, but I'm going to tell you why that's a bad idea. At 4.0, this thing has a maximum armor value of 75 millimeters, which is not enough to stop anything at even 3.0 or even 2.0, or sometimes even at reserve tier. And of course, you can't angle it either because there's this little... Yeah, the Italians started doing this. Hungary thought it would be a great idea to do as well, and it's not. 25 millimeters on the side and down here as well. This thing's survivability is pretty diabolical as well. There's four crew members in here, the ammunition stored right underneath the commander's butthole, and this guy here who's your loader too. No transmission to catch any spawn, any shot on the front, you're dead. Now I'm going to directly compare it to the Stug 3G. They both have there or thereabouts the same cannon, except this looks better on paper because it has more penetration, but in practice that's just not the case. This is the Stug 3G. Let's have a look at its armor. 80 millimeters at the front, and much difficult to hit weak spots on this guy. You can actually angle this okay-ish. It's got a little bit more side armor, giving you that little bit of wiggle room. But things like KV-1s and stuff really struggle to penetrate this thing frontally. Uh, and your cannon is a little bit better. There's a reason for that. If you look at the Panzer Granada 39, it has the same uh, TNT mass. And 140 millimeters of penetration rather than 150. But the angle pen despite it looking better on paper over here, is nowhere near the same. You'll struggle to penetrate Sherman's and T-34's frontally at times, which is really frustrating, and I guess there's no real reason for that, other than that this isn't a German vehicle. Now, say you come up against a KV-1 that's well angled, and that does happen very often because it's the exact same BR as a KV-1. If you don't kill it in one shot, it will shoot you anywhere and you will die. You have to aim for weak spots on pretty much every single enemy that you come up against, and they don't. Even things like the Swedish Luvkub 42, and of course the DCA 40 can frontally pin you. Those are anti-airs, by the way, and you'll struggle to hit them in one shot. Uh, this thing is just absolutely miserable to play, and you're going to see it in this video today. Now, it does have some things over the Stug. It can reverse very fast, not that it's very much help anyway, <laughs> but uh, as well as that, uh, you have a slightly better gun depression, but a much bigger forehead to hit, which is not great. Also, top armor, by the way, uh, 50 cals, MGs, yes, you know the score. Not a very survivable vehicle. Before we get into battle, here's my stats for this thing. Uh, 2kd, pretty much dead on. Uh, a little bit higher, actually, uh, but it was not a good experience at all. Uh, I do not recommend that you spend your coupon on this thing. Sell it on the marketplace, buy something that's better, do not redeem this thing, it is not good fun at all. If it was 3.3 like the Panzer 3F, then I would definitely accept that. Things like Stuarts and stuff will struggle to pin you frontally, and that's really where a tank destroyer should come into play. Having not survivable armor and a very hit or miss cannon is not a good thing to have in a vehicle like this. Anyway, let's get into battle. Right, we got kind of a good map for this now, let's go try and snipe. The, the problem is, Anything that snipes his back just needs to hit us anywhere and we're done for. There's like one spot, you know the little round bit on the right hand side where the gunner's optic is? That, that's the only spot they can pin. But everywhere else, everywhere else, you're dead. At least on the Stug you've got your transmission to stop shrapnel coming through and killing your crew, right? Not on this thing. There's no such thing. We're gonna die to that flag bus. He'll be arranging his in right now. But I might be able to kill him without line of sight. It's going to be tough though, because uh, if we're on this steep ground, it might just go over the top of him. There he is, right there. Right, let's go full depression on them first. 
It's gonna go to the moon, right? It indeed did go to the moon. I can't even see where it's gonna land now. I went even further. That's a bit better. A little bit more to the right, maybe? No, he's slightly, he's slightly more to the left now. we got two left to pull this off. A little bit further back. And go. Nah. That's unfortunate. Thousand, do we? I think he's actually moving though, like. Just missed them. Got stuck in a tree. That was too low. Okay. Low Navy AG. That would have been really fun if we could have hit that shot, but it was not to be. I think someone was trying to strafe that guy. Yeah, he's dead. No, no. A different one died. Somebody just got absolutely nuked. Oh, there's a, a disappearing Sherman on VGAP. Right now he's a bit indisposed. Oh, the flag bus is shooting at planes. I think he's got line of sight on me. That did get a lot of his crew, but it just didn't show. Right, no cap for you. I'm going to back away from here in case that flag bus decides to target us. But the B cap is pretty much free right now for our teammates or the enemy. Right, Mr. Flag Bus. Oh, hey. That was far too low. Better. M10. Ready our fuel tank, that's it. Still no mobility on him. He's gonna have to move or he dies. And somebody else fired at me, so we are gonna just back off for now. My teammate died on C, I'm just. I'm not sure if he's gonna push me or cab first. Where is this guy shooting at me from? Where is he? Do it again. A stug. Nine hundred. Driver transmission is perfect. That's what you want. All right, a shells though. I should have took much more for this map. And the enemy's back on B again. Why have we not been bombed yet? This vehicle's far too situational. 
there's our flag bus loading heat. Have to guess it. Commander, driver, loader. We're getting bombed, right? Yes. Right, we're on Volo -lo 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 command. Get the. And there's a far superior machine that you don't need to earn. <laughs> it's at 4 0. Right, T 14, it's me and you then. Fill up here against Russia, Britain, and France on this map is uh, a bit of a cause for concern, but here we are. That rocket went way over. There's actually a guy down here as well. I really wanted to hit that M10 with a rocket. That's a KV-1. I think if I hit him lower, we'll get him. Good. And then that guy died there, so that's awesome. It's gonna go over the spawn, right? Bit far. A little bit. What's my T14 firing at? No, oh, he's getting shot too. Well, he's fighting a heavy tank down there. A KV1E. Is that a Crusader? Oh, it was, please. He never noticed. He died. And there's a plane coming in on one of us. More than likely me. Is that our KV-1E here? ARL. Angle. Thought that we can angle this thing. There's an enemy right in front of us too. I should be able just to hit this. Okay, never mind. We got bombed. <laughs> I can't push up or do anything really. What's happening over here? He means I get mauled by this guy. And this this other KV1 are still fighting this side. There's just no way to we can push up safely. What's my teammate shooting here? Some sort of medium tank. It's a Sherman. Don't drive away. Non pen them. I uh, had two bits of armor. That is straight to the moon. I see him actually. Oh, it's an ASU. He's got a much quicker reload than me. Maybe not. Missed him. I want the Sherman, dude. I want the Sherman. These aeroplanes. I think my team might be dead. I hear him and I'm pretty sure he hears me. Of them. The T thirty four was killed by somebody else. He just spawned, didn't you? Yes, he did. 
so you get a f you get free line of sight into their spawn from here? That's pretty rough. An SU 100 Y. That's someone of them in ages. Damn, dude. I think I just saw an SMK. An Avenger, that's not good. Bro. This dude's missing half his turret as well. Ah, uh, we are a lot of those dead. Somebody pushing up our right side. We still have the gun handling to handle any of this. There's our SU-100. That hasn't noticed me yet for some reason. Let's get this fire out. Are these guys pushing me yet? Yes. Thank God, solid shot. Oh, it's a heavy tank. Am I like dead silent perk or something? Is that what's happening here? He's in danger. Right. The the Avenger and the T thirty four are on B. It's J twenty one's trying to kill him. Five kills, all just, basically. 23 seconds is not worth it. Another heavy. I think the game's gonna end by the time I get up this hill. Good old Stug G held out in his own. I, I hate this thing, dude. Absolutely hate it. And a medium pushing this way really fast. I, I just don't know how you can enjoy playing this, honestly. I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand, dude. Yeah, I just... They're, they're, you can't even angle it. It's impossible to angle it, too. It's just not good enough. Anyway, GG. Three, what do we got? Another one of us, a Pivkov 2 of the same BR, there's a 76W Sherman and we have to worry about basically reserve tanks depending on our front plate. I uh, don't think this is fair <laughs> at 4 -0. The same as all the Italian tank destroyers. Worst stugs at higher BRs. I don't, I don't understand. Well, I do. It's because no one really plays Italy except players who are already good at the game just for a little bit of a challenge though you know they get like three four kills a match generally and then it inflates the scores on them then your average player comes to come <laughs> comes to pick it up and give it a shot and uh doesn't do so good and they're just like yeah no i'm not playing this i'm going back to playing my tiger or my panther when it's easy to one shot things f playing italy and we can't push aggressively or even pick a corner here either because we'll die. It's not happening right now. Russia's, Russia and Germany is probably the worst things we can face. Was that a shot of the Pivkov? There goes the R3. Another an anti-air just killed that R3 that can also pen us from the front. There's not much we can do other than snipe here. I can't help that guy. What if I did this? 
There, that, that gets rid of some of those tents. That T-34 doesn't need to move from where he is, which is... Uh -huh. I think he can see me. If he shoots one of our rockets, we'll get blown up. Is it a T-34 or a KV? A KV, it looks like. Not a good enough shot there, Boz. He fired. He's got good reload, though. Non pen again. I think it was angled enough that we would have been okay there, but. Someone up there. That is. Is that Herman the German Sherman? It is. sure is. That's exactly what that is. He's dead. The KV is retreated. Right, where's the front of my tank? The RT is hitting him. Right, I think if he peeks us, we can also hit him with a rocket, but I don't think it'll pen him anyway. Is this turret out or something? Oh, there's breaches out now anyway. It's a little bit too high for our ASU. What if I what if I bounce the suspension a little bit? <laughs> Went away. <laughs> Went away left. Right, we're out of those. And here comes a plane. We really need a turret. Oh, we've lost Sea Cap entirely. Is that the 30 mil one? It is. Are you coming back round? A little bit too high. I think my teammate is fighting for their life on Sea Gap still. Come on, little dude. Yeah, they could be anywhere here, and not having a turret is a no bueno. A flag bus. I'm stupid and should have loaded a heat. Have we got him anyway? Okay. And my teammates are now shooting somebody up there. I think we're about to get bombed. No, not yet. The little ASU is still up there too. There he is. Cheeky scrub. If only we had our missiles now. Somebody's probably going to come up behind me. Oh, there's a guy here. I need, I need to deal with this guy. But there's another one there. I just gotta keep pushing. He's shooting the breeder now anyway. Spinning around. We're gonna get shot in the side or what? That's not good. That's not good. Is it just a flag panzer? It is. He pinned my side of that range though. Oh. That was too short. I'm getting absolutely peppered with SBA. Is this guy gonna push me here or what? I 
I guess no. Find them. Good. You can't find our back now at least. Awesome. We still have no caps. Oh, we have got one bit. It's not enough. This is not good. We need to try a different route. I've got nowhere to reverse. Oh, there's a stug behind me as well now. Ah, uh, KB85 got me. Five kills is really all we're going to get, I think. Now, I know you've probably left a comment about this already, but it's not a coupon. <laughs> You just get this vehicle at 4 which is really sad because if it's a coupon, you could have traded it for something nice, but I guess we're not allowed to have nice things. It's not really often that I hate a tank this much, and I don't, actually, I don't think I hate this tank. I hate that it's at 4.0, when you've got the Stug 3F at 3.3, that's objectively better than this in pretty much every single way. The rockets are really sad as well, um, I mean, it's just historical that they're fixed, I guess, but... At the same time, they could have been fun to use if Gaijin just give them a little bit of wiggle room, like being able to aim like at least at the same, I don't know, level as the vehicle. But it's not meant to be. Sorry to disappoint you guys who are grinding for this. Um, you're probably going to find out the hard way anyway when you bring it out. Sure, there's going to be a bunch of people in the comments. I know this is going to happen. I got eight kills with it in one match. But try and do that consistently and let me see you get at least 4kd like I do with most vehicles that I would still consider terrible. Uh, I think this would be better suited to the 3.3, even 3.0. I think this thing is pretty much the same gun as the Marder. Um, it's just that it's even less survivable than the Marder because it actually has armor to fuse APHE and doesn't have as good as gun depression. Really sad. Never mind. Maybe next time. Tomorrow we're definitely going to be playing a palette cleanser, like a good vehicle or something goofy that we can just enjoy for a laugh. That was really frustrating playing this thing today. Uh, for multiple reasons, mostly because getting bombed and strafed after I got one or two kills by the person that I shot and that's just worth under I guess. Now if you've not liked the video already, please do so, it helps out the channel massively and a huge thank you to all my supporters over on Discord and Patreon, this video is for you. Um, uh, all the tier 3's on Discord, it's Toast McGee, Gigi Bra, Frost, Bofe, Destari, Gifted Greed, Jimmy Mauritian, Please Call Me Landon, Squeezel, Stoyan, Terry Bad and The Witch Doctor. And to everyone over on Patreon as well, the sickness win, Matthew S. Uh, I've got a project coming for you, by the way, for your massive contribution. Uh, I'll message you soon. Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Paul Windrix, the Tackle Guy, FT and Watermelon, Shane McGuire, and Stormwind, Brannon, the <laughs> the Flying Pickle, Ethan Logan, Excavation Nation, Handsome Tatia, Kenny Salt Lord, Kyle Metany, Please Call Me Landon, Ralph, <laughs> Please Call Me Landon times two, Ralph, <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> Rage, Tanktonic, Tanks Gone Well, TV2 is Atomic, Vanny and Warpig, Shaft, Alicia Mortan and Stoyan, this is totally my name, Jay Tormey, David, Pyrophoric, and Shmoo, and to everyone else still here. Thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye